So last week I said, enter Kendrick Lamar, Parks and Ice said, no. But if you believe Kanye West to be the genius that he is, because he is, and I'm telling you that Drake has made him lose sleep. I'm telling you. I'm telling you something. And they've made each other lose sleep. But that don't change. <laughs> that Drake has made him lose sleep. That means as great as Kanye is, we know dude is on his mind. And if dude is powerful enough to be on his mind, what the fuck make Kendrick Lamar think he exempt? What make me think he's exempt from that? The nigga that had to go away from his phone for a bunch of months? Why? Why did Kendrick Lamar leave his phone for a bunch of months? <laughs> yeah. He was chilling. Because Drake went to Marcy. <laughs> you need me to tell you? That's why. Because Drake ran around and gave everybody a dollar. He gave him a dollar. Yo, he had a hairdresser. <laughs> Niggas, he had a dollar cosplay. We the man. Fuck are you talking about? Kendrick left his phone. He hid his phone from himself. You ever try to hide something from yourself and forget where it is? Not on purpose. Nigga didn't wrote a note about it. Yo, where's my phone? <laughs> Yo, who has seen my phone? I don't be on my shit. <laughs> Did he say that in a note? <laughs> I've misplaced You know phone. why he wrote the note, Ice? Why did he write Because it was a light-skinned nigga. Hey, Hov said, one day there's going to be a nigga eating cereal somewhere. That was the cool way to say it. Let me tell you what Kendrick was saying. One day it's gonna be a fucking light skinned actor nigga in Toronto in his room coming up with a dance. And they go left foot slide, right foot, and then we go left foot slide, and right foot slide. We, everybody know we gonna do the cha cha slide, we gonna do the slide. Listen to the nigga that got these niggas. Okay, yo, the game is in a frenzy. Oh, y'all don't wanna listen to me, cause y'all trying to keep hating me. But every time the hip hop shit happens, you fucking come back, you bitch. Fuck y'all niggas. Ice, this is happening. I told you. I this is happening. No, I didn't call your name to intro you. I'm to not. I ain't, I'm just this telling you I disagree, nigga. I, I hear you. Is Armageddon is here. Okay. Finally. It's time. Top can't save it. Punch can't save it. Scissor can't save it. Keem can't save it. They have to collide, especially if Lil Baby keep hanging out with James Harden. If Lil Baby keep partying. <laughs> Listen, I, we can go take a break. <laughs> if Lil Baby go to another James Harden, if, if he say, you know what, I'm hanging out with James Harden for the next seven months, we all going to look at Drake and Kendrick like, well, <laughs> <laughs> on you guys <laughs> listen so Kendrick gives us a verse let me shut up let me mm -hmm. shut up Kendrick gives us a verse Ice comes in and thinks the showdown is Drake and Kanye somebody out there make it make sense for me the floor is yours <laughs> can we start with that's not how I presented that <laughs> let's start there first off and we go yeah, what should the right foot do? <laughs> right foot up, left, left foot, foot slide. slide. This is how he's handling killers. <laughs> Everybody know that we're going to do the tussie slide. Yes, that we're going to ride. Like, right? Yeah, that's the tussie slide, man. The tussie slide. Whatever, the Whatever slide. it's called. I didn't do it. Slide. I didn't know the dance, nigga. Uh, some slide. Me, nigga. Nah, I, I don't that think... That shit came on the other day. I was like, damn, what's that? <laughs> 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 your foot started sliding by itself. Hey, man. Your foot, your foot hey, started lifting up. I said, oh, shit, this the joint that didn't work. <laughs> oh, damn. Got my body feeling Stop love, love. Stop kicking me, yo. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Sticker. Tell your story, I told man. you, Joe. I, don't, I still don't see this head-to-head -head Armageddon shit that you keep trying to predict, you keep trying to will to happen. Kendrick and Drake... This Kendrick verse is not... You told me this verse is about Drake. That's what you told me. He told me he's talking to Drake on this verse. <laughs> you could throw everything here. Yeah. Give him some more shit to throw. 
You want to throw a cup? What you want? So I'm telling you, this Kendrick, Kendrick, to, to me, your open this is control again. This is Kendrick saying, yo, I'm better than everybody. Whoever you're, t- whoever, I'm smoking on the top fives, on, on your top five tonight. Whoever you feel is them niggas can't fuck with me. I don't care who. I don't care who takes offense. I'm not, t- I'm talking to all of you. You're wrong. That's my take. Your take is wrong. My take is correct. Your take is and has been wrong for a long time. I don't expect you to realize it in the presence of a correct take. You nigga, look, you look at it. Oh, <laughs> nigga. Fuck. But, fuck. Let, but let's go through it. I'm down to play with you because we got a part. We got to play. Yeah, we got a part. Who's in your top five, Ice? My top five has nothing to do with this. Yo, currently, you mean? Who's in everybody's top five? Are there five consistent names in everyone's top five? No. No, there isn't. Or are there more like two and three consistent names? You know, like when Hob Hov said, who's the best MC, Biggie, Jay-Z, and Nas? He probably really was talking about a top five. He just didn't want to tell y'all. Nobody gives a fuck about four and five in the top five. Nobody's going to say that. I'm here to tell the truth today. So you falling for the consumer Kendrick trick. And that trick is going to allow him to have a crutch. So when he's asked about it in interviews, he can give us that same bullshit that he gave us with control. Oh, that's to whoever. Take it how you want. No, 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 when you was at In-N-Out Burger and the radio was on and you heard we got rain for now, for some light, we got rain. and you got angry and wrote something. So all of this is because of Tootsie Slide. And addressed everybody in it. But everybody don't matter to you and they never did. They never did. And that's what the big dogs won't ever tell you. They won't tell you that everybody don't matter. It's a select group of niggas that matter, and you'll never be able to guess why they matter. Ice, you was there my whole career when niggas said, yo, dog, Jay-Z's not dissing you. Jay-Z doesn't know who you are. You were there. Mm-hmm. And I was saying, well, let me just shut up, because ain't nobody going to believe this shit. <laughs> ain't nobody going to believe that Hove might have a reason other than my musical success to want to address me or diss me or acknowledge my... And the geniuses are so ill that sometimes they do it without the consumer ever doing. Like you said, you didn't know Drake was dissing me in the 5 p.m. and whatever that fucking song was, but we won't get into that now. Here we are. Kendrick don't care about none of these niggas. It is a facade. It is a trick. Let me ask you a question. Ask ask away. Do you think Kendrick Lamar believes he is the greatest rapper alive right now? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Without him, a doubt. Him saying, don't you address me unless it's with four letters. What do you think those four letters are? GOAT. Okay. Me being the GOAT, right? If I believe I'm the GOAT, I can make a blanketed statement to everybody. I don't care. Yeah, Drake, you too. Cole, you too. You're not on that plane. You're on the wrong plane. You're on our plane. Now step it up a notch. Tell me when Jerry uh tell me when Jerry Rice said, uh, I'm talking to all y'all receivers, I'm the best. Tell me when Barry Sanders said, I'm talking to all y'all running backs, I'm the best. Tell me when Michael Jordan said, I'm talking to all y'all shooting guards, I'm the best. Tell me when Kobe said it. He said, all the, the niggas best. that we know to be that, tell me when they came out and addressed the other niggas. They don't, because they wouldn't. They would never. They don't have to. No, those rules are still to. in. Drake wouldn't do it. Kanye wouldn't do it. Cole wouldn't do it. Kendrick wouldn't do it. Hove wouldn't do it. Dre wouldn't do it. Puff wouldn't do it. End of the list. Graham Hove has done it. Nikki is on it. I know, but that's what I'm saying. When the, when this select group does it, you won't know why. You won't be able to get. They got their own, but they, that's, that's, that's Star Wars. That's Star Wars. I knew that when Kendrick popped up, because I tell you that the musicians are like superheroes to me. So when we know the fourth quarter is here, mm-hmm. we know the superstars are coming. Know they come. So if we know they're superheroes... I was looking for everybody, like an X-Men. When the X-Men is in trouble and they call fucking Rogue up, 
yo, dog, we need you to be, do that shit you do. Take their powers and Rogue show up and present her powers. And the Avengers, when they be fucked up and Iron Man, yeah, but here come Robert Down, he do what he do. What I'm saying is in hip hop, I don't want to bore niggas because this is geeky talk now. I wish Parks was here. But in hip hop, the gods come with their weapons. Enter J. Cole first. Rapping. The end. I never relied on a cosign, tricks, marketing. It was just me rapping. North Carolina, I'm going to show up to your house. I'm walking to SOBs. I'm joining the basketball team. It's me. My fans love me for me. That was the weapon. That was the weapon. Are you following me? That was the superhero weapon. You will never see a better marketer than Kanye West. Mm -hmm. He's doing live art. That's the weapon. It's the weapon. It's marketing. It's Apple. It's deals. It's Yo, he's got a STEM player out. There's a STEM player. Audience. The fuck is a STEM player? <laughs> He's got a vocal isolator. You can get this and turn the vocal down to beat up, isolate sounds. He's got this innovative shit coming. Or Apple chill out. We've got Apple hardware. Oh, we're selling a hardware along with merch. Along with tickets, we selling everything. We selling NFT, everything but an album. Everything but an album. Where have I seen something like this before? Oh, Apple. Beats. Headphones. They was headphones. We all know they was headphones, right? I follow him so far. He came yeah. and changed up the dress and the sauce on it. Best trick in the world worked. Um, I don't know much because I didn't research this. I'm willing to bet this little thingamajiggy existed somewhere. And now we have a great way to sell it. I'm hitting a round of applause, goddammit. This ain't hate. This ain't hate. I've only been telling y'all since 2017 that mu musicians have also began to devalue the music. It wasn't just me screaming, what's the value of a stream? Other niggas was trying to find out. The musicians are doing everything but dropping music. Everything. Smart of them. Smart of them. It's fucked up. When you see the music you got to put out to get back what you got to get back, mm -hmm. and then you see your rates everywhere else, fam, mm -hmm. sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah. We selling hardware, we selling this, we selling that. They already. getting it done. And they announced it, right? Said he made 12 million off the first but, but but And they announced it, right? Yeah. yeah, I thought they did. I thought they did. Sometimes I, I was wanting the companies to announce some shit when I did a deal. Yo, do a deal, man. Tell them what the deal was like, man, so they could feel that out there, so they could see a young black creator really did this from top to bottom and it's eating like that. The people need to know. <sighs> No, Joe. Nah. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Joe, hear me and hear me good. We'll never do that. <laughs> that will never happen. <laughs> so when they announce it, it's because they want it announced. Right. That's what all of And I'm is. not saying they're lying. No, that's what all I of I believe that's, it. That's part of the... The, the marketing. Is to but you because know I believe it. it and I know how great y'all are and I know we got a few weeks left and I know this is all written in stone on a big white board somewhere, probably run until the first week of October maybe. I'm not clicking on these live shows anymore. That's just me. Drake, I'm not watching Sports Center for you to hack in with the date, but that's not for me. You didn't do that for me. You did that for the other people. Like, we've been waiting. We've been waiting. Right. We've been waiting. And so wherever we know. you put it, everybody going to know, know the date. It's going to, yeah. Kendrick, my point is, because I didn't mean to go on this long tangent. This is just my argument with Ice. Ice Kendrick don't care about the top five. He's just saying that. And he's only saying it so that when questioned about it, he can say what he did with control. Take it how you want. If it applies, it applies. I'm talking to you if it applies. And while that's true, that's, those are not the people that inspired this. Mm. And that's that what I, he's that, neglecting. That, that I'll agree with. That's the part that he's neglecting. 
So when you say, nah, some of y'all niggas are just thirsty for the Drake Kendrick beef. No, we're not. We're not. Yo, us I fans, we that. get off of that, right? Like we tried to we tried to force a cold Drake beef. Mm-hmm. They just kept making music and being friends. And mm-hmm. the fans left it. We tried to force Kendrick and Drake earlier, mm-hmm. but they little, just threw little subtle jazz. Yeah, little we subs. can never pinpoint it, and it never came. Left them very vague. Ice, we 12 years later now. I mean, I don't think nobody is that thirsty. If it come, great. But we're not trying to force it now. I'm talking about the energy that's coming from the gods. I don't think it's the fans. Fans created some shit. This verse is not about Big Sean. It's not about Wale. It's not about Jay Alec, The Locks, Nikki, Meek, Ross. This verse is not, who else you got for me? It's not about who's the little dude, but this dude. Scoot him and boot him, spot him and got him. No. <laughs> little baby. No. No. He ain't talking to the Migos. <laughs> so when you come in my house saying, no, he's talking to the top five. I didn't say no, he's talking. No, the I, fuck. Yo, he is not. All right, now stop, stop switching my words. I never said he's talking to the top five. All right, I said, yo, his line says, I'm smoking on, your, on, on top five tonight. Whoever your top five could be, if it apply, it apply. No. That's what I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, let me do. I didn't say, I'm, yo, stop. I'm Stop, let me pick, reply I'm directly to you. Let's take that this. one line. I'm saying, that's not what he's saying. So what is he saying, Joe? I'm, I I'm talking have to Drake. A hybrid strain of Drake and J. Cole a little bit in there. <laughs> but this is a Toronto <laughs> Mansion Degrassi special <laughs> strain. <laughs> Smoking on this. Spewed love this. <laughs> it's gonna, smoke, gonna smoke more of this. It's the Zah? When I unlock new flows to come. He told you that. You, who, you thought he was telling that to who? Tell me you thought he was saying that to who? Post Malone? <laughs> Fam, I just told you. He's talking. But you're smarter than that. I'm shutting up. I'm done with you. I'm shutting up. You're smarter than this, Ice. You're smarter than this. Don't I, fall I, for I, it. You're smarter than this. Again, again. Smarter than this. I, yeah, I am. I'm smart. You're smarter and than again, this. I say people want that so bad that you're willing to reach and apply. Oh, yo, this is, this is Drake. This is Drake. I think Kendrick, where he's at, yeah, it's Drake and you and you and you. It's all of you niggas. It's all of y'all. Because I'm the GOAT. Fuck everybody. That's what I think. You're wrong. Okay. You think that was a uh, mistake or like by chance? Maybe he was just fooling around in there where he fucked up the flow, the voice, the cadence, where he fucked all that up, then found the greatest rewind ever that we've ever heard. <laughs> in hip hop or battle rap. This is the greatest I'm running this back that you've ever heard. And he found it somehow, miraculously, right now. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a talent. You know how they say sometimes it's not the word sometimes it's not what you said is how you said it? Yeah. That's where we at right now. Many of us, all of us in our false bravado and ego say, hold up man, these niggas is playing. All of us say it. Mm-hmm. Did you hear how he said it? Was it different? Yeah, Did he yeah. say it like he was talking to Big Sean? Did he say it like he was talking to Wale? Did he say it like he was talking to Jay Electronica? Did he say it like he was talking who? Lil Baby, ESTG, Young Thug, Meek. Did he say it like he was talking to any of them? Y'all sitting here too fucking cool for a nigga that said, hold up, man, y'all just playing with me, man. But he did, he closed his mouth and his teeth. Said it through his teeth. Your mama ever talked to you through her teeth? Yeah, she meant you that. You got shit. a black mom, me too. Say, yeah, no, no, your mama that black shit. too. That meant don't make Ish, me repeat. I think it. you got a black mom too. <laughs> Eric, it, uh, Alex got a black mom. Everybody in here got a black mom. Your mom spoke to you through her teeth before. Why Kendrick talking to you like his mama? Like your mama did? You think. That mean don't make me say it again. You that, think, that's, you think that's he's talking is. to Post Malone? Young Blue. <laughs> Who's he talking to? 50? <laughs> oh, no, nah, 50. Leave Kendrick. Who's he talking to? The top five. Your top five. Your top five. Who's he talking to, Joe? Your top. Who's he talking to? Who's he talking to? One person. I don't have to say it. He's not talking to Kanye. Same nigga he always talking to. He talking to Kanye too. Saying Kanye nigga move. 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 Stop. Stop. This is our dance. 
You ever spot, you ever identified a girl that you want to dance with back in the club, back when there was clubs, back when there were dance floors in clubs, back when women danced with men in clubs? Mm-hmm. You ever do that and then another nigga walk up and start dancing? One nigga be hogging her. She like, danced nah, for a couple seconds, turn around, look back. Nah, dog, you're not the dance I was waiting for. I already spotted the dude I want to dance with, and he spotted me. We've been playing I Wars all night. He's who I'm waiting for. That's the dance. <laughs> There's one dance. Drake said that. <laughs> All right, go ahead, play the song. Go ahead, go ahead play the song. Take it back. I'm done. I quit. Long, I'm never falling again. <laughs> Turn it up. Let me ask you a question. What's up? You believe Kendrick to be great, right? Yes. When Kendrick thinks about other rappers and destroying them, how many flows do you think he feels like he needs to do it? You don't need a lot. Probably one or two, right? Yeah. He on his seventh flow. What's wrong with that? The nigga that told us he put his phone away for the last nine months, and I'm not a trending topic, I don't do the fucking gimmicky gimmicks that these bitch-ass niggas do, is on his seventh flow, and we're not 16 bars. We're not 24 bars in. And he's on a seventh flow. That don't say nothing to you? Bro, that don't say nothing to the people yes, that's listening I'm to music? I'm telling you what it says. Do you say. think he's doing that for Wale? See, that's what you're doing. Do you think doing. he's doing it for Big Sean? I don't do you think, think he's doing it for any one Jay particular person, Is he doing it for Lil Baby? I don't think he's doing it for any one particular person. Is he doing it for G Herbo? Durko. Who is he doing that for? Lie to my fucking face. I don't think he's doing play it for record, one play. particular person. He's doing person. it for all of them, huh? He letting all you niggas know. All of Anybody them. Anybody who all wants to smoke. All of them. Because all, all of them affect his day. No, they don't. All Nobody. The, Nobody's been all, affecting all, my day because some, my phone's been no, down. No, 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 no. Somebody. That's what he's saying. No. <laughs> Somebody made you put your phone down. <laughs> hey, I could have told you all months ago, whenever Kendrick pop out, it's going to be voices there. Why? Because that's just in his little rogue X-Men mm -hmm. arsenal. It's a lot of voices. He's on yeah. his fourth voice now. <laughs> That's his lane. That's Four what Four voices for Big Sean. On it. Ice. Again. Ice. Ice. It's millions Listen, It's millions Listen, <sighs> See, because that's a big problem we got in hip-hop. Listen, I'm not putting this towards you. We be wrong sometimes. Evidence will surface, and then we can't say, oh, I, look, I didn't look at it like, oh, I see what's going. Like, we don't change contextually. Ice, what you said last week, hearing this verse, you should come in here and say nothing but Oh, shit. Let's get ready to rumble. I see what's going on. I don't see that. If you don't see, I know, because you came in my house doing fucking cartwheels because Man, you gotta cut Kanye that and Drake. Shit out, bro. Because Kanye, you looking at the wrong fight. I didn't come You in looking at the wrong fight. Wheels. It's not a fight. It's not a fight unless Apple is really mad at Drake. This is not a fight. Leave me alone about that. Leave me alone about that. This is the fight. Pull up his. his First week from his last album, Candyman. Oh, uh, the, the damn album? Any album. That's his last album. Damn. I don't oh, know. Black Panther soundtrack. Whatever that was, you could pull all the shit he wanted Pulitzer for, the, 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 uh, to Pimp a Butterfly. Whatever he wanted. Pull up all of it. First week, 603. Silence. Silence. No one say a word. Silence. Silencio. Quiet. <laughs> Suppress your voice and thoughts. 603. Ice, I know you know this, but let me be the first to tell you. There's one person that does that. Not two. Not three. Not four. And not five. So this is not Joe Budden trying to perpetuate a beef. I don't give, I'm not invested in this. I like both these niggas. I think they both great. So I'm going to get good music no matter what. I don't have a horse in this race. And I'm not looking for a beef. We tried that already, us fans. This is 12 years strong, these two. Mm -hmm. Drake did 732 last time around. Kendrick, you didn't just put your phone down on the strength. You didn't. I'm telling you that as an MC. I know what happened. I know what happened. I know what happened in 2005 when I went to my man house for a cookout and he started telling me about what Papoose was doing in the street. 
It's nowhere near the same magnitude. We're talking about two gods right now. But I know what happened. I know what happens when you're a creator and that happens. You woke up Sunday to mind your business, called the girl you like. She listening to some shit. That happens. That's how the Drake Ludacris beef happened, remember? It's the wildest beef ever. <laughs> she told that beef don't make no sense. Yeah, that's cool. Drake was dating the girl. The girl was listening to Ludacris, nigga. Get your little demo out of here. I don't want to hear that shit right now. I want to hear Ludacris. Nigga, Drake blew up and fucking was mad at Ludacris. <laughs> hey, he never forgot that shit. Hey, Lude this, this, shit. this Lude had nothing to do hey, with it. Like, hey, I'm minding my business. No, I date a Scorpio. They petty, man. They will not grow up. <laughs> Drake remembered that shit from 99. <laughs> <laughs> said that shit in a breakfast club. Nah, man, old girl back in the day. She wild. She shouldn't have said that. I had to. I had to. Hey, nigga dated another girl that was a Trey Songs fan. Boy, did he hate that one. <laughs> nigga brought it up in a classic album. <laughs> Don't do that. She told him he'd never be as big as Boy, Trey Boy, was she though. wrong. <laughs> you heard him? <laughs> <laughs> that was his negative man, energy to feed him. That was his that man, nigga, Hey, that nigga ain't even say it to her. He told us. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Was she wrong. Boy, she couldn't have been more wrong, right? Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm that's telling a, you the type man. of petty that's going. No, 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 no. Listen, some of y'all think I'm crazy. It's cool. I do this podcast just to give my thoughts. You don't have to agree with them. I'm not trying to persuade you to do so. <laughs> but these are the people we're dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> These are the people we're dealing with. That's funny. These are the people we're dealing with. That existed when Poetic Justice dropped. Is that the name of the song? I'm yeah. fucking it up, yeah, right? No, that's that's it. my song. Poetic no, Justice. I love that song. Yeah, me too. That existed when fucking problems happened. This existed when Section 80 dropped. You think when Section 80 dropped, he ain't heard about a nigga in LA with a mixtape coming soon? Let me ask you that. You think, you think that? You think that Drake didn't know that Kanye was about to light himself on fire soon? It's fucking weirdo. Drake is home like, yo. <laughs> yo, Drake is home watching this shit. <laughs> like, nah, he not gonna light himself. No, he not. Uh, he better hey, not. <laughs> Drake, you shouldn't have said you had a bigger pool than Kanye and then put a candle out. As soon as you put that candle out, I said to myself, oh, God damn it, Kanye about to be a candle. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all not hearing me. Yo, what's Go ahead. Wrong you talk. With you, Forget about stupid. it. Yo. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. I don't want to talk no more. Forget about yo. it. I'm giving. I'm giving it to y'all. I'm telling y'all what's happening, and y'all keep laughing no, every week. Funny, and I be being because you probably right. That's he a was a up candle. Part. I think I said, "Oh no, you want to put a candle? Was he a I'm gonna be the I'm candle. Be the candle. Was he a candle or not? Oh man, he was. it's Kanye and Justin Leboy versus Drake and Academics. I said that. Look at this nigga. Yeah. Where's he? You ain't, he ain't Ooh. just like he, 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 that ain't working no more for Kanye? Who? You don't even hear from dude no more. Who? No, he's still around. Oh, okay. He's still around. He's still there. And Fabio says that Kanye is about to produce his whole next album. I'm excited. I'm, with that. I'm excited about that. Mm. I'm super excited. I'm got to find a rooftop to shoot off him. I gotta celebrate Fabio. <laughs> you can't. You can't even celebrate him without you can't shooting, celebrate shooting him in a weapon edge. off a roof. Nah, nah, nah. Somewhere nah. you gotta, you know, just a couple though. You don't want to get crazy, stupid. Kendrick, you could fool them. Can't fool me, dog. Been in this game for years. It's made me an animal. Oh man, it's rules to the shit, and I know you read the manual. You can't trick me. You such a student, dog. You ain't been sitting home making up PF Blang merchandise. <laughs> so let me now. All right, now you I ain't pass. wait. Kendrick Lamar, do you think that I think you've been home helping SZA with her album? What have you been doing? What is Kendrick? You ain't Wayne. Wayne on his off time. Skateboard. Nigga went and grabbed a skateboard, went to the park of white boys. All us niggas in hip hop was like, yo, Wayne is a fucking weirdo. This nigga's <laughs> losing it. In his downtime, he's going to the skating rink. Yo, he put it in his rider. Like, if you did a song with Wayne and he, you needed him for the video, he said, yo, get me a, a skating rink, <laughs> a skateboard. <laughs> Y'all not understanding what these megastars can do. Yo, give me a skating ring. So I'm not even showing up if I can't ride, <laughs> if I can't glide around. 
<laughs> Yo, what are y'all talking about? These niggas ain't like us. Well, Kendrick said he'd been collecting beach cruises. Better been collecting a lot more than that. Better been collecting a lot more than that, buddy. Y'all playing. This is when the fans going to hit me and say I'm biased to OVO. Like, I ain't dissed that nigga eight times. Dissed that nigga a whole summer. <laughs> a whole fucking summer. I'm not biased here. Facts is just facts. No, Joe Biden. 